So, on this sad day, I just want to let you all know, I quit, I quit, I quit, I quit, I quit, I'm done. Fuck you! My, no, I quit, it's no, over. No, fuck you, Holly. You I'm know, done. I tried to no. make you an artist, and look, what's, look how you repay me. Oh, repay you? I didn't even get paid check! Fuck this shit! <clears throat> Get a new artist, I'm done! <laughs> this is gonna be the next, my next new artist. It's got worms. Oh shit, she does. <laughs> <laughs> Yay! I can't be replaced, not even by a cat. Oh, are y'all watching this? Oh shit, I think it's rolling. Oh fuck, our personal life's up. Oh god. It's going. Hello, my darklings. How are you? I missed you. I'm sorry I've been gone for so long, but what can I say? When you're in this type of career, you are there, and then sometimes you disappear, but you always come back. So surprise, I'm back. So I don't want to hold y'all up or anything, but um, there's a lot of stuff we need to go over. First off, we're just gonna get rid of this. Second off, um, we're going to start with the things that I need to tell you that are most important. <laughs> so, um, let's see. So, if you haven't seen my Facebook post or anything, I recently announced, I believe I announced it on either the 11th or the 12th, that, I actually think it was the 11th, that a store in California called the Halloween Factory has um, teamed up with me to promote my music by using my Shadows video in their store to sell fog machines. So, first off, I'd like to thank them for, um, it's an honor for me to even have them do this for me, so I'm really happy and very thankful that they are doing this for me. Also, if you are in that neighborhood and you know what I'm talking about or you know the place, go there, check out the fog machines, watch my video, <laughs> and, um, you know, possibly get a costume or some makeup or, you know, anything really. Um, it's a Halloween store, so Halloween's right around the corner, so might as well. You gotta find the costume anyway, so why not start there? Um, Anyways, that's that. Um, I just wanted to let y'all know that they're promoting me right now until 28th. Yeah, 28th. Till the 28th. So you'll have plenty of time, but get in as quick as possible for all the fog machines out because um, there's really cool things you can do with fog machines. So. What did you say? What? Okay. Number three I need to discuss with you is the new album. We've, me and my producer, we have been working on the new album. It's going good. It's really great vocally. It's probably better than the first one, but I still urge you to get the first one because that is where I got my start. So we need to stay real with who we are. So just, you know, my music is released on iTunes, Apple. There's, it's actually released in th like 30 different stores. So. Pretty much any online music store, you can get my songs. Um, <clears throat> We're also going to be releasing a single pretty soon. I'm not exactly sure on the date. I'm not sure which one, but we're looking into releasing a single for y'all. So it's they're all so great so far. We can't even decide. Uh oh. Okay. Also, um, moving forward, 
I actually on this ab album, my bad, tongue tied, on this album, I've actually collabed with Alien to You 92. So, That's why I'm here. Uh -huh. We're actually, I guess you would say, collabing on this video to kind of show that we're also collabing in a song together, which is going to be awesome, and we, you'll love it. We originally had a band together, me and her were both in it, uh, called Fright Capture. Fright Capture, but we've been so busy doing our own separate things, yes, um, we haven't had time to put an album together for that band, but we are planning on doing that, maybe next year, during the fall. Maybe. So. But it's never out. But it's definitely a possibility. Like you said, we've just been really busy with our own albums to actually sit down and co-write songs and do them together. So we did uh, oh, one song on the track called Phantom of My Dreams. Uh, that's kind of a teaser of what y'all can expect from our band. So. Okay, so and moving forward, um, as y'all have known, since I've started this music career, I usually dye my hair. Sorry, I'm distracted. Betty Crocker <laughs> over here is baking <laughs> vegan brownies, and I don't know if they're ready yet. No. Say hi, Betty Crocker. Say hi, Betty Crocker. Hi. Hi. Okay. Sorry, sorry it went there, but it had to. I got a little sidetracked for a split second. It happens. Okay, so back to what we were saying. I know my hair looks a ratchet mess right now. It's really not. I'm just really freaking blonde. But every time I bleach it for some reason, I can't ever get this part to bleach for me. But it's okay because I'm going to try again. But I'm not sure what color I'm doing at this time. Usually I go with green and black. I know the first album, my hair was like five different colors. I did like green, black, red. Yep. What else was it? Green, black, red, blonde. Green, black, red, blonde. Like reddish. Blue. Did, Did we do it blue? That? Yeah, green, black, red. Oh, um. It was epic. Uh, crop, uh, not. God, it was copper. 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 It was copper. Okay. So, green, black, red, copper, blonde. So. In the BDSM video, it, but that's been taken, removed by YouTube. Uh, yes, so. I still am pursuing that. However, whenever I try to contact YouTube, they won't get back with me, so I really don't know how this is going. But I know that um, they had no reason to take my video down, and so we are trying really hard to get that put back up. Um, I'm still trying to give YouTube a chance to talk to me and, you know, get together and figure this out. But um, if they took it down because of their new guidelines... They can't actually do that because my video was up before they put their new policy And their policy in is place. that they would re-upload it as age-restricted, which they so, have So, yeah, they at least need to age-restrict it and still put it back up there. But, um, either way, don't fear, because eventually, if it's not put back up, I will figure out a way, because I am smarter than I appear. I will figure out a way to get my video out there so y'all will see it one way or another. But I really hope YouTube just talks to me and let's put it back on YouTube because that's where it belongs. <laughs> that's where everybody wants to see it. So Plus they hopefully. screwed her out of her paycheck, just saying. I mean, yeah, I mean, they do owe me money, so. And if that's why they took my video down, that's kind of a lame reason. Go check out Shadows. Definitely. Um, perfect time to watch it. It's October themed pretty much Halloween yes and speaking of Halloween if you know me personally you know Halloween's my most favorite holiday ever <laughs> no it doesn't make me evil and it doesn't make me Satan as some of you may think but shut up though. but I don't know you've seen that oh well I'm watching you <laughs> oh, it's like an illusion because it's like okay just go on anyway Sorry. Anyways, Halloween's my favorite year, my favorite holiday. I love, not favorite year, but my favorite time of year. Sorry. And my holiday, and it's just, it's so awesome. I like dressing up, and there was times I went trick-or-treating, but now I'm too old for that. So I'm just going to stay home, drink, and party with Mr. Producer over here. And um, 
they'll figure it out. I mean, I know I have a kid and stuff, but um, I don't feel like I need to take her trick or treating because there's just so much wrong with Halloween now. I don't even understand why people keep screwing up my holiday, but they do. Um, like, you know, what's up with razor blades and poison and people's candy? I mean, you know, isn't it bad enough we have roofies? I'm just saying. <laughs> I'm just saying. Candy. Okay, I mean, so. I'm, no, I'm just comp in comparison. Why are you going to poison my child? <laughs> when you're probably the person that keeps giving girls roofies or men roofies at a bar when they're not looking. I'm just saying, stop poisoning the children, damn you. We can't take them hat trick or treating because of you psychos anyways and I'm, at, I'm not like someone who sits down and watches the news all the time but I just want to address someone keeps telling me about these killer clowns people that dress up like a clown and kill people don't know who you are but all I can say is if you're someone doing that or someone who is not doing that who is really in love with clowns like my aunt um, don't dress up like a clown for Halloween because you never know when someone's going to try to shoot you. Hit you with a billy club or baseball bat. So be safe when you're going out there because if you dress up like a clown, bad things can happen because a lot of people keep reporting that there's these clowns or a group of clowns keep luring people into the woods and killing them. So be careful, people, especially if you are juggalos and juggalettes. I know y'all don't look like the birthday party type clown or the clowns from outer space type clowns. And if you don't know that reference, that's a movie from like the 80s that I grew up watching. But um, yeah, just be careful. If you're playing on dressing like a clown, be careful. People are psycho. <laughs> Apparently, my producer is, you know, something on the leash, whatever. Um, Strict control. I was something. having trouble with him. We actually, for a split minute, um, decided to cut ties and go separate ways. and But we worked it out and we're back together. So, no yay! We're back. No more label problems. It's all cleared. We're all good. So good, he's got me on a leash because don't want to lose me again. Yeah, just sure. saying. Should be the other way around. But, <laughs> okay. Um, let's see. Also, um, I just wanted to address just because I've recently seen it. Um, apparently, Brendan Urie, Panic of the Disco, My they boyfriend. He was. <laughs> Sarah would kill you. Um, anyways, he was in Dallas, Texas, and if you don't know where that is, that's really close to where I am, hint, hint. Um, <laughs> so, yeah, I'm really sad that I had to, I missed that concert because he, I really look up to him. And as well as Brett Michaels, um, they're like my top two people. Brett Michaels and Brendan Urie, they're like right there neck to neck. So I really love them too a lot. So I was upset on Valentine's Day. Was it this past year or last year when Brett Michaels was in Tyler, which is also close to this me. Year. Also close to me. Hint, hint. And then um, Brendan Yuri was in Dallas, which was close to me. Hint, hint. So yeah, it was sad. I was like, dang it, I missed them both, and I had a chance to meet both of them. But anyways, you know um, Brendan follows you. Does he? I think so. Well, I mean, they I release know. stuff like at the same time, and that's definitely not planned. No, we don't. It's not like I'm on the phone with them, and I'm like, "So, Brendan, how are you? <laughs> Good. Yeah. How's the wife? Hey, I'm releasing my stuff on blah 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 blah. When are you releasing yours? Okay, let's match dates and do that. No, but somehow I don't know how. But somehow me and Brendan Yuri keep ending up with the same release dates. I know our albums came out the same day and our singles keep somehow appearing on the same day. So 
our videos came out the same day. So it was like, wow, okay. So we have this ongoing joke that he's following me or he knows something that apparently it's like he's reading my mind or something. I don't know, but creepy. Anyways, um, anything else we need to address? <laughs> Because I don't know what's everything. Else. Okay, yeah. Uh, um, was it? Let me, I'm double checking. Let's see, yep, that was everything other than, once again, thanking the Halloween Factory for uh, promoting me and my music by using us to sell fog machines. We we're really grateful for that. Um, it's such an honor to have such a big opportunity uh, being so far away from where your store is actually located at and having you still promote me me being so far away from your store so that's really awesome and i cannot thank you enough for that opportunity so once again if you're listening go to halloween factory get your bug machines get your costumes and look for the new single come out like yeah. guess what the date we're both releasing our new singles for our album on the what's what's the date today Today's the 13th, I think. 12th, 12th. 12th. Today's the 12th. We're releasing our new material on the 15th. Yay! Y'all probably don't understand why I'm excited about that, but it's because my lucky number is 2 and 5, and that's a 5, so yay! Sorry. And it's the beginning of your album. Yeah. People get a steep drop. And That's steep. also exciting. I'm so excited. I can't wait. I'm I'm ready for it. It's good. so much. I've worked so hard on this song. Really, so hard. It goes from. Are you gonna disclose what you do on the album and what the sounds like? We can. Go ahead. Well, um, we're going in a bunch of different genres that I didn't even <laughs> think I was gonna pull off. I can't remember if I said this or not, but I do know in one of my videos I mentioned someone, I think this is a Q&A, someone had asked me if I would go outside the box and do different genres. I mentioned that I would do a lot of different ones, but there was a few I wouldn't do. Um, one of them I think I might have said was rap. I know I was like, country, mm. And then he was like, oh, she can do country, amazing. But anyways, um, so on one of my songs I actually I rapped. <laughs> Don't know where it came from, how it happened. It just, it hit. I felt it and I went with it. And so, surprise, I rapped on one of my songs. Which might be the first single. Which we don't might be the first single. We're not sure. They're all so good. We do not know which one should be released first. And opera. So, and I've done opera. Yeah. On a CD, opera. on an album. I've done on a, on the, song. On one of the current songs we've been working on. Yes, I did opera. It's so weird. But I did. I went there. Again, I just felt it, so I did it. And he really wanted me to hit high notes, so I'm having to try to go outside my box of comfort. And it's going to be a really woo. awesome album, though. Just I like it a lot better woo. than the first so far. I mean, the first was pretty damn good, as you know. Yeah. But, um, so. yeah. There's a lot going on vocally in my in my new album, so and we're gonna have some really cool videos in this one too. So hopefully YouTube will leave these ones up. They left shadows up, so if it's provocative, we're gonna go ahead and put it up as a restricted though, just to be safe. We can do that, can't we? We know how to do that now, don't we? I think so. We're gonna figure it out and get back to y'all on that. But um yeah. That's it. So, I love you all. Thank you for being with me on this musical journey. It's been a hell of a ride and we've enjoyed having you all as a part of my life and just cannot thank you enough for even being a fan. So, thank you and I will see you 